Hello friends, so today we can discuss this question from the latest read code by weekly contest 18 problem number 1331 rank transform of an array so the question statement states that you are given an array as an input and you have to output an array in which each index define the rank of that element the how can we define the rank rank is actually an integer which states uh, the order the smallest number has the smallest rank and the, as an as the number increases the rank also increases and the rank should be small as possible so the thing is we have to just uh, give the number one two three four according to how small or the how big the number is as you can see 10 is the smallest of one then two then three then four but if any numbers are same the rank should be same as you can see uh, and in this case uh, this is the rank because 5 is the smallest and the 9 is the second smallest that's it okay so the basic logic here is uh, we have to sort this array to got to get the like uh, the ranks but the thing is if we sort this array we have actually lost the original position where each element is so what we do is we make a pair in which we store each element with its original index and then we sort it according to this number and after sorting it we have the index in which the number originally was and then we place the rank according to that let us see with an example this is an array and this is the original indexes okay then we sort it so after sorting the so what we do is we make a pair of the number and its index original index this is the original index before sorting after sorting the because this 10 will, will come first so this will become its index is 1 then this 10 will come its index is 4 then the 20 come its index is 2 30 its index is 3 and 40 0 as we can see now the indexes are stored so what we can do is we make a new array okay so now as we know at the first index the at the first index 10 was and it should have the rank 1 this number at the sec at the fourth index they should be ranked to but because those are same we have to put the same rank here also now because this is different it should be at rank 2 which which is at index 2 uh, rank 3 rank 4 so this is the final array I hope you understand this logic. So this is the code because they can be the length of this can also be zero. So I have written this case, and then I make a vector of vectors is actually a pair of size two. Then I'll store the first value of this is the value, and the second is the index. The first is the value and second is the index and then we sort it it's actually sorted by the value because we are not giving it any parameter so it always sorted by the first value then we make the counter equal to 1 because we start by 1 and we make the first index the first value it starts with 1 so it equal to 1 then we start the loop from 1 equal to 1 not starting on the first because we have marked actually the first initially and then we match that if the second number like starting from the second number if it's equal to the first because if any consecutive numbers are same the rank should be same and after sorting all the consecutive numbers will come side by side so if they are same we will don't increase the counter we just put the same value in the solution vector or else we increment the counter first and then store the value i hope you understand the logic and if the counter will increase if the two consecutive numbers are not same they are different because different numbers should have different ranks but the same number should have same rank so we are not increment the counter here and after it we should return the solution error this uh, 
code runs perfectly well and uh, yeah i hope you understand the logic thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video